Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you're all well. Uh, I've got a very busy day today, but I did want to make, um, uh, sorry for the earlier time, by the way, but I just wanted to make a very quick appeal for uh, an event this weekend. Um, as you might know, over events over the last uh, week or so have shown us that, uh, something that some of us already knew, uh, that free speech does not, is no longer a reality in the, in the United Kingdom. It's not a matter of we are in danger of losing free speech. Uh, the fact is that free speech has already gone. Uh, it's a matter now not of protecting it or trying to save it, but of trying to get it back. Now, before all this happened uh, this week with various journalists, we're detaining journalists, by the way. The UK is detaining journalists like some banana republic. Um, before all this, uh, we, we, of course, had great difficulty in securing venues around the country just so I could speak, simply speak. I'm not advocating uh, violence against anyone. I'm not advocating oppression of anyone. Uh, I'd merely want to speak about important issues in this country, and we simply uh, weren't able to, well, not, about, not without a great deal of, of trouble. Um, and the same happened when the uh, the branch, the Four Britain branch in Milton Keynes, wanted to hold a meeting, uh, struggled to find a venue. So Jeff, the uh, the guy who runs uh, Four Britain in Milton Keynes, said, "Well, look, let's take it onto street. Let's go out into the public uh, and tell people uh, that we are struggling merely to find a venue." To, to speak our minds uh, and be heard by people. And this is important, I think, and one of the important reasons to do it in the, uh, in the street uh, uh, context is, is that you will find people who are going about their business, going shopping, uh, who otherwise may not have thought about or, or, or heard about uh, these issues. Um, so we're going to do that at half 12 outside the civic offices in Milton Keynes on Saturday, the 17th, uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, I will talk about recent uh, developments in, in the UK with regards to freedom of speech. Um, and, and though much smaller a scale, uh, I last week was banned from, from Twitter for the first time. Um, actually came as a bit of a shock. Um, so it's, it's as, as, as I've said before, and, and as many others have said, the walls are closing in on us. Um, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk uh, about uh, the reason why our free speech is gone. Uh, and I have no intention whatsoever of breaking any laws. So I will show you how absurd it is, uh, the limited speech that we have about this untouchable issue, the issue that shall not be named. Uh, I will do my best to make speech within the law about the issue that cannot be named. And in doing so, show you how dangerous and destructive and frankly ridiculous, the ridiculous results uh, this Sharia blasphemy law that is being imposed upon us has, has produced. So if you can, if you can, uh, try and get to Milton Keynes. It's a, it's a nice location for a lot of areas, uh, people in a lot of areas to get to. So if you can, please come along and support this. I want to take it also around the country. Uh, I want people going about their daily lives to hear or have the potential to hear just what a perilous state British democracy is in, and it is rapidly, rapidly going downhill. And that has accelerated very much in the last year, even in the last six months. So if you can make it along, please do. Uh, I'm on the road now. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm on the road now for six days. Um, starting today and um, tomorrow evening I'm in Corby so if you're in Corby or the surrounding area and you're a member of For Britain expect an email from me giving you full details tomorrow and on uh, Monday if you're in Birkenhead or the surrounding area uh, expect an email from me uh, on Monday a detailing uh, where I'll be speaking that night. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks as always for your support. Uh, keep the ideas uh, coming in for around the logo uh, as well. Thank you. Um, and also uh, lots of interest in standing as candidates. So thanks also for that. Um, okay, I shall be back next week. I shall keep up, uh, keep up to date and keep in touch via social media and email. Uh, but until then, uh, and if I don't see you over the weekend, uh, take care.